Shipping containers, you've probably seen them, but as Luke Burbank reports, you've never seen them quite like this. We're honored to like call this home. Oh yeah. For Zach and Bree Smithy, me, the smell like of like old tires will forever be associated with home. It reminds me of the beginning stage of the construction here. Yeah. I want to anymore. tell the television viewers at home, this house does not smell like tires. Yeah. <laughs> it very in 2016, but, you know, the couple so built their dream home in St. Charles, Missouri. A three bedroom, two and a half bath, 3,000 square foot, two story structure made out of eight shipping containers. That's right, those big metal boxes you see transporting all manner of goods, including, sometimes, tires. Manufactured in Shanghai, traveled around the world 12 times carrying goods before they landed in a yard in St. Louis. Which is where Zach and Bree went to inspect their future home. It was still like kind of surreal to go to this container yard with thousands and thousands of shipping containers and think, hmm. We're going to live in this. Malcolm McLean, an American truck driver, first applied to patent the shipping container in 1954. And his invention has changed the way we live and trade. Today, an estimated 90% of all goods pass through as many as 170 million shipping containers circulating around the world. And increasingly, people are using them in ways their inventor could have never imagined. Houses, coffee shops, restaurants, offices, swimming pools, even a stadium for the 2022 World Cup in Qatar is, you guessed it, made out of shipping containers. The Smithies were attracted to shipping containers because they offered a chance to recycle and show off the couple's unique style. But keeping the project on budget meant doing almost all of the work themselves. Many people have unrealistic expectations on how cheap a container home is going to be. They right. forget that the expensive parts like kitchens and bathrooms and HVAC ele electric and plumbing are still there. The result of their work is a gorgeous home full of quirky and fun upcycled details. Cheers. <laughs> oh yeah, cheers. Another result? We had no idea all the opportunity that has come to us since building this home. It's pretty crazy. Zach's started a side business helping other people build shipping container homes. I think that people see the way houses have been built all these years and they think that's what they have to do. But you can express your own creativity however you want. And I think that this has been a way for us to do that. Proving, perhaps, that sometimes good things come to those who think inside the box. This room is one container width. So you have the container walls on both sides. 